Hello everyone. This is another video how we will install Gradle in our macOS. So uh, for Maven we can install from Ubuntu package itself but uh, for Gradle probably we need to download. Uh, before we are going for the downloads we can try to install from our Ubuntu packages so I'm using this command sudo apt install great okay so basically there is no Gradle files available in Ubuntu packages so we are going with uh, our traditional approach where we are downloading a zip or tar.gz then we will set our path so Gradle download Download the latest version. So version 6.01. So binary only. So we are get the zip version. And next step we are going we need to unzip that. okay so probably i will i will take the command line and i will do the remaining from there so i have the command line here so i am going to cd downloads okay i I will do one thing. I will copy that and uh, yeah, I will go to CD OPT. There is no CD OPT folder. So I am going to create a new folder called OPT and inside that I guess uh, I can use the same user <coughs> local there is no user also You have this much of folders. Okay, there is. Here we go. Probably we have a bit of folder also. Okay, so here, alas, we have been lib local and this bin. So which one we will select? We probably we will go with local. And if I ls here, I have PHP, my admin, Maven, and every everything is here. So what I am going to do is I will create a directory called Gradle. So permission access denied. So sudo mkdir gradle. Okay, then what I need to do here, I need to copy that file into here. So if I am going here, I also
Okay. I have use of folder here. Local. Create. Here I need to paste it. So they are asking for my password. My grade is here. So I need to start here. So what I'm going to do is so I got the structure version here probably. Okay, so I guess CD Gradle. Okay, I have only this one, but I need to unzip that. Okay, so right now we have unzip version. And I need to copy everything. Ask him for password again and uh, I don't need these two files anymore so probably I will throw into the okay so we are done right now and to right now we need to export our path So what I am going to do here I need to set the path and uh, I need to specify the bin folder also. So how I will do that? The same way we need to edit our bash Here we will edit our path. We can do from command line also so we don't need to do from here so I am just exiting that and here I can do like instead of this one I am changing so many things this is user dot local user yeah user dot look okay so the path is weird user local grade bin okay so right now we are done Uh, we need another command to make it work. Okay. Okay, so gradually since shown. So I can see the girl version and everything is fine. So 
the installation is uh, straightforward we are finding in yeah we are finding it folder and we are setting the path that works without any problem so another one gradle how we will generate a gradle wrapper If I am typing something like this, so I am going to my home folder and workspace. I have Java, Angular. Okay, I am going to Java. I will probably have a Maven, so I am going to create a Gradle one and uh, I'm going to the Gradle one and uh, I'm going to create a test directory here and I am going to insert that directory and I am executing this command Gradle wrapper So if I am, there is a, the, uh, uh, there is one Gradle wrapper created. So we usually using gradle wrapper to make sure uh, anyone system is uh, okay with our gradle version i mean for a particular gradle project we need to have that specific gradle version so probably in a multi team environment Usually the people in different computers, they will have usually a different version of data. So to solve that issue, we can use the Gradle wrapper. So it's a very easy method to solve the version problem between developers. Thank you for watching this video. This